So guys, it's your girl One Love Diva, and today I'm coming at you with a little cookie tutorial. So I'm gonna make my enchilada casserole. Um, I have some small corn tortillas I'm gonna use, trying to use this up, and I also have flour. So I have a little bit of I'm doing a little extra today, just something different. And then I have cheese and chicken, rice and beans, um, olives that will be going in. You'll see me put it together, but I'm not gonna just be like it's just so much everywhere. So. You'll see, I made cilantro lime rice, black beans with tomatoes, oh you can't even see it, black beans with tomatoes, Here are the black olives, and well you can see everything, I made homemade enchilada sauce, it's so, it's a lot, I made a lot, so, I mean it could spill in here because I'm getting ready to pour it in there, but You'll see it. It looks delicious and tastes delicious. I got some cheeses and I don't have any shredded cheese. So, you know, I have to do what I have to do. And then I have some ground meat and I have ground sausage and ground meat together. Then I have chicken. So it's like a three meat enchilada casserole. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, put a little sauce down. I'm going to get that bottom pretty covered. And this was like the easiest sauce to make. It's just pretty much chili powder, onion, garlic, tomato sauce, and um, cumin. What else is in there? And I put like fresh garlic in mine and all of that is over here put them on top. Let's see, has some that's kind of falling apart. So I'm gonna do it like this so they'll be good and coated. And then this one will go. So the first layer, I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on top of this. Get me started. And just a little bit more. Because I want to make sure that that tortilla is covered in sauce. And I have plenty of sauce. If not, I, it's so easy I can make some. And so for the first layer, I'm going to go with something that's going to soak up juices, which is rice. And you can do your layers however you want when you're making enchilada casserole. So. And again, this is my cilantro lime rice. Try to do a chipotle. That chipotle rice that I had in that other bowl. Same same. I should have put something over there. I'll put a little bit of corn one over there. <clears throat> then I like to make sure that the it's spread it out evenly. Starting with the rice. Then I'm going to go with beans. Oh. This is beans, tomatoes, onion, garlic, all of that good stuff. And if you don't want meat in yours, you can do it vegan and just use rice and beans and tomatoes. You don't even have to add anything else to it, you know? I have jalapenos in here. Uh, I make everything spicy, so this is going to be real spicy. Even my enchilada sauce, I made that spicy. I have onions and bell peppers in here that I added extra. Then I just put a hot can of Rotel in here as well. Ooh, it's looking good, y'all. It's looking good, okay? Then let's put a little meat. Let's see if I can grab the meat like this. Because my meat is still in the strainer and I don't want to uh, move it over here. Uh-oh. And if uh, it get grease everywhere. I need a little bit more meat. Got plenty over here. Make these layers delicioso. And then chicken. Shredded chicken. I shredded it up as soon as it came out of the pot and I just boiled this. Just boil this together. My hands are clean. Plus, I'm, I'll be the only one eating it. I know it's going to be big. I think I'm going to make it so big where I can sh uh, make it a freezer meal. Make enough 
eat half of it and then eat the other half later. There's gonna be so much. I just wanna get a piece of chicken in almost every bite if that makes sense, guys. Lunch, what I only wanna do, so I grab some more chicken. And I just cook one chicken breast because like I said, I'm gonna be the only one eating this and I do not want it to be like extra, extra, um, huge, huge, I'm trying to be sparing with my cheese. And I'm using pepper jack cheese and sharp cheddar. And like I said, I didn't have any shredded cheese. Well, I try not to buy shredded cheese because I heard stuff was in it. So I've been trying to buy real cheese. So yeah, that's another reason why I don't have any because I don't really buy it anymore. But I buy regular cheese that sticks together. So again, this is sharp cheddar. I'm just turning with my hands, guys, just like I did the chicken. And I made this recipe up when I had to, um, it was a spread at one of my old companies I worked at. And I had to bring, I told them I was bringing enchiladas. And when I got ready to do it, um, yeah, I just was like, oh, I don't feel like doing it. How can I make this simple? So I just said, let me make an answer. Let me make it like a lasagna almost. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what it is. It's like a lasagna. And so far, I've only used like two pieces of cheese, just two different, one slice of each. That makes sense. All right. Then I'm going to use these. I only, only reason why I'm using these is because uh, I'm trying to use them for the side. Because I only have like uh, four left. And I need to use them up. Four or five. So I do know that this part right here. Oh, I need to put some enchilada sauce on here. I just said that and didn't do it. Hold on, guys. Gotta put a little sauce. A little sauce on top. Yeah, look over me and my singing. You know I got to sing. Sing when I'm happy. I sing because it's a stuff for me. Let me stop. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, in this video, y'all ain't going to see my face, but you know, you watch my videos, you know what I look like, you know what I look like. So, just enjoy all of this good stuff. And then, last but not least, because I forgot to add them, black olives. Y'all didn't tell me, you, like, you forgot to add the black olives, I sure did. Adding them now. Adding them now. A little piece of black olive everywhere did i get it good enough that's good enough for me all right corn tortilla i'm gonna hit these sides over here because it it did good on this side it didn't do so good over here so i think i'm gonna do that and then one of these and then half of one of these maybe so i'm gonna turn this that way all of this is covered that makes sense. How many more of these do I have? Oh, I got plenty more. You know what? Let me actually do something like this to get these edges like extra covered. Extra covered. I'll leave this over to the side. Oh, actually, I won't. I'm going to put it right there. The way nothing is showing, it's going to be a whole layer. I don't know what that little piece of cheese is trying to stick up on me. All right. Going back in with the sauce. Let me turn it around. I don't even know how they got up there like that. <sighs> I'm seeing jalapenos. I put jalapenos in this sauce. And also put sun-dried tomatoes in here. Put I put tomato sauce too, but I put sun-dried tomatoes in here as well. want it to be dry y'all so I'm giving it good 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 scoops good 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 scoops and a little bit more over here then we should be good to go okay let me move this out of the way I'm gonna turn this around because I just don't like this messy on this side okay look like it's messy over there too let me get this wiped up hold on I can't with it Wait. 
fry them and then let's get off in there because I just can't. I know I'm probably going to spill some more, but I'm going to try my damnedest not to. You dig? Do you dig? I know y'all do. I know you do. I know you do. I know you do. I'm trying to break up this sun-dried tomato. Well, I just put two of them in there. And it boiled, boiled enough, but... It's still kind of whole, but it still would be a great bite to have if you ask me. So, rice again. I don't know how many uh, layers I'm going to get out of this, but I'm going to try to get as many as I can. Squish some of this down. Sure, this rice is everywhere. Beans. What did I do with my bean spoon? Oh. As you can see, my beans are a little bit juicy, and that's from the tomatoes and stuff that I added in there and the vegetables. So, and the can of hotel. So, yeah. Everything should be good and juicy. Should not be dry at all. And I didn't show you guys how I made the, like, the, the stuff to go in it because I was like you know what let me just let them watch me put it together okay so I'm going to add my olives now adding my olives now there's a whole bunch of them over here none over here okay olives have been added okay see if I can get my meat without Sorry, y'all. It's just easier to do it with your hands. And I'm finna spray it with this spoon, though. I told you I'm gonna be the only one eating it, so it don't matter. I can use my hands to fix it all if I wanted to. Day clean. See, yeah, that's gonna need a little bit more meat there. I think it drained out all that good grease, because it's been draining for a minute, guys. It's been draining, but like I said, it had, um sausage in there as well so i just wanted to make sure that all right guys i had to take a little moment a little break because my phone didn't have enough storage but i haven't did anything so i just added the ground meat now i'm gonna add some chicken and then cheese and then we'll cover this up again Jeez Louise, my dude. Just gonna go out on a sister like that? <sighs> I guess. Crazy. But it's my fault because I got pictures and stuff in my phone and videos that I already just going out today that needed to be deleted. No need to even be in my phone, you know? Because once I uh, upload a video, I delete it out of my phone. I delete it out of my phone. Put this over here. Add some more chicken. This lab will have a lot of chicken, I guess. So I'm almost out of chicken. Keep on. And oh, all in the park. Trying to get cheese, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. Don't leave me hanging. I'm coming. I'm coming. I like to mix them that way when I do put them apart there will be a little piece of everything you know you know so I'm using this pepper jack because I wanted a spicy enchilada sauce and since I was making my own enchilada sauce I was like shoot I can make it extra spicy if I would like to extra spicy and I had like frozen jalapenos in my freezer I needed to use too <sighs> For me making my salsa. Making my salsa. Y'all, that salsa I made was busting, busting. Thanks to my best friend. Good looking out, Leticia. Thank you. Hope you watched this video. She said she wanted to see a picture. Now you get a whole video, BFF, of how I do this thing. Just in case, you know, you want to make it for Ruben. 
just in case simple easy you ain't got to roll up nothing you know you can choose to buy the shredded cheese if you would like or cut your cheese up beforehand but yeah so y'all it is quite a bit of everything left i'm trying to see if i can push this down like i'm not going to put any more sauce on there i'm just trying to push this bad boy down see if we can do it see if we can do it and yes yes we can boom boom that's why you got the corn tortillas here for that little extra help out now i'm gonna do the sauce uh-oh i'll put it back i moved something yeah i might have to do this in this pan because this right here come on buddy move over here cover this up sorry guys this is cilantro Oop. wasn't supposed to be that big i forgot to where that big cilantro come from they must came out the chicken I cut all the other cilantro up really well and cooked it and everything so I wouldn't have big pieces of cilantro like that. Y'all, oh my goodness. Um, I'm gonna have to make some more foils because I still got so much meat left beans. You know, I could freeze that too. I'll probably freeze it. If not, I'll just make another pan. Let's see. Oh, it's heavy. My God, today. And then I can see the box where I need sauce it right here. I can see it. see little spots I'm gonna turn it this way so I can see the outside dang it I feel like I still missed the side let me see if I can get that to there we go I thought I had made enough where I could save this I guess I'll make another big batch and make a small little pot of uh, enchiladas and uh, go from there because I got well you know what I can't do that because I don't have enough tortillas so um let's see um let's get all of this chicken hold up y'all and grab a chicken off of my pan that I had it on yeah I'm gonna do it a little different this go around. I don't know what I'm finna do with this stuff. I need some old uh what is it called? Tortillas. And I don't have any more. But I am good with improvising so let's work this stuff out. I'm going with meat only. I'm not gonna put any more rice or any more beans in here. Um Hey, you can build your enchilada casserole however you want. Just make sure you build it just like a lasagna. Just like a lasagna. 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 Push everything out. Push everything out. This is going to be full, full, but I'm going to pray to God. It held up. Oh, and I will put the olives on here. This would be kind of like the top, but I don't really want my olives exposed, if that makes sense. I know some people wait and put them in on top. I don't want mine. I want mine cooked inside with all of the goodness of it all. Trying to bite into that little salty brine, you dig? Do you dig? Okay, so all my olives. Uh, cheese. Grabbing cheese, guys. Grabbing cheese. Grabbing cheese, turn up cheese. Tartest cheese for me. 
these can be kind of big too. Now, this is like the top of it. And this is like the top of it. Need this to be that small. Wait, wait, and wait. Just wait. I'm going to figure it out. Um, doot, doot. More cheese. I'm going to use this much. <laughs> now I'm trying to make sure I covered every spot. Trying to cover it really, really good here. I need a little bit more of this cheese, a little bit more sharp cheddar in here than the pepper jack at this moment. I feel like I got a lot of this over here, not enough of this over here. Hold on, y'all. I've got to put some with some. Let me grab this right here. I did all that wiping only to have to get all the way up here. I just didn't want it to look nasty, you know? Hold on, let me wash my hands. Ooh. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for watching this cooking video. It's kind of a cooking video. It's a put together type of video. I appreciate you watching though. Um, okay, so let's then. This is our last tortilla not a very big one either and then I have these two for the top that's all I got y'all we gonna make it do what it do oh making tortillas is not that hard either I saw that too that's easy but I don't have a tortilla flattener thing oh you know what yes it's gonna get this out get that out you saw that big hump that's my that was my sun-dried tomato that I put in here. Sorry for the scraping. Because I'm not going to edit none of this out. I may put uh, music over it, but I doubt it. Especially if you want to know how I made this. I was talking to you. I got to talk to you. I don't want to make no more enchilada sauce, guys, so I'm probably not. It don't take long to make it, but I just don't want to. I'm going to try to cover up the edges with cheese. Like, just cover it up with cheese. Cover it up with cheese. Cover it up with cheese. I think that's the go-to, right? Can't get it to be. Let's move some of this sauce over here to this edge, though. There's plenty of sauce over here. And over here. All right, y'all. That's about all I got in me at this point. Um, like I said, I got beans and rice left. I'm probably going to add them together and just put it in the freezer for another meal or something. But other than that, this is what it's looking like. Let me wash my hands and then pick you guys up so you can actually see what it looks like before I put it in the oven. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm getting ready to take it out and I may make some more sauce later because I may just do that you know but I got all my meat in there and my cheeses that I wanted so um, oh, I'm looking for my napkins if they had been a snake they would have bit me okay, I'm turn this water off I'm gonna clean up my mess pause you for a second one second this is the way it's going to look going in. And like I said, I may make some more enchilada sauce. But it looks really juicy. And I'm going to push it down a little bit more. But that's my sun-dried tomato. I told you I didn't cut up. That's going to leak out a little juice as well. So we should be good to go, though. So this is what the top looks like. Delicioso, if you ask me. Okay, guys. So I'm back. You saw what the top looks like in the previous clip. And I am about to put foil on the top so that it can actually cook slowly on the top so my cheese won't burn. 
I think I may need some more foil because this is almost long. So I have these, which I love to, to buy. So I'm going to go this way with this. Put this in the oven for oh yeah I forgot to preheat my oven hold on y'all so guys I have my oven preheating for like 500 to 350 and I'm gonna clean up my kitchen and mix my rice and beans together that I had extra would you like a bite Looks good. I'll take a bite. Mm-hmm. Well, you know you made the filling bussin. You ate a lot of casserole. You're not going to be playing no games. None. You understand me? So, stay tuned and I'll be back as soon as it comes out the oven. Okay, guys. So, my oven just went off for me to put this in. It is now 8.36 p.m. at night. Don't know I waited so late to do this, but, you know, dinner got to be done. So, we're going to go and get this in the oven for about 30 minutes. So, by 9, 9.05, it should be done. So, guys, just another tip for you. Let's say you boiled your chicken like I did. I made chicken broth as well with the remainder. I'm going to take this and freeze it. And all of this is going to be spicy chicken broth. So I have to remember that I can't use it if I'm going to feed anybody's kids. But I normally just feed myself. And I have about, like I said, I use one chicken breast. Let's see if we can stick this on there. I think I might have put too much in there. Maybe perfect? I don't know. Okay. And I have this container filled with chicken broth. So now I got chicken broth for other recipes that, you know, I want to cook. And all I did was boil one chicken breast and some veggies in there. Okay, guys, as you can hear, it is going off. So that means it's time to take it out of the oven. So let's take it out of the oven and then I'll be right back so you can see what it looks like. Okay, guys, so we're going to see what it looks like together. A little cheese stuck on there, so let's get a spoon. Which I knew that was going to happen. I forgot to spray this. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Jesus Christ. Do you see that cheese? I want it all off of this foil, too. Look like I may have to put it in for a couple more minutes with the foil on, guys, but I want to make sure it's not dry or anything to that nature oh my god definitely not dry definitely not dry okay yeah i think i'm gonna put it in the oven for a little longer guys just so all that cheese on top can melt oh and then i'll take a video so you can see what it looks like now one second this is what it looks like coming right out of the oven. And you can still see the cheese and the, the separation and everything. It looks delicious to me. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to take it out of the oven. I forgot to start the recording after I hit the button for the oven going off because it was getting on my nerves, y'all. So one second. One second, my no. Oh man, hold on y'all. I got Stephanie in there playing. Y'all can hear her in the background. Okay, guys. So, had to stop my YouTube video I was watching. I let it stand out for five minutes. I can need a little bit more, but I'm going to go ahead and take it out. I'm not getting ready to eat it anytime soon, so I'll have time to... cheese it's just not melting the way I want it to melt 
It's bubbling though. It's bubbling, baby. Go ahead, baby. It's bubbling, baby. Go ahead, baby. It's bubbling. Bubbling. Can you see it bubbling from down there? Bubbling. All right, guys. So let's move this over here. Tuck it underneath here. So I won't have a whole big. There we go. All right, guys. One second. Oh, well, I guess I need to end the video. I've been doing so many cuts and cuts and. This is the end of the video. This is my homemade enchilada casserole with not enough tortillas, but you know, we all right. You know, nobody tripping on it because it's going to be cut and ate regardless. You dig? Regardless. Um, seemed like that cheddar. Some of it melted, some of it didn't. So. Oh well, I'm going to show you the top of it and then I'll end out. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment underneath this video if you want to see more cooking videos or partial cooking videos or whatever. So let me know. I love you to the freaking wear. Moon. Stay tuned for a picture and stay tuned for the mukbang after this. Well, it'll probably be a day after this, so just stay tuned. But I will be eating this good old goodness with you guys. So, just stay tuned for that mug mug. Bye. Guys, and again, this is the finished product. It's the finished product. It's the finished product. You see this cheese right here? I don't know what's going on with that, but it is what it is. Everything else is melted right. Like, melted real right. You see that olives? Oh my goodness. I can't wait to eat this with y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, it's a lot of casserole. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. So, I'm going to cut some of this to send with my sister. Because she's coming over to bring me some stuff. So, I'm going to cut some of this open so you guys can see what it looks like. I, it's the next day. I have not eaten any of it. As you can see, it's still whole. So I'm going to cut it and then plate it up so she can take it home. Or pack it up, excuse me, so she can take it home. Okay, guys, I'm going to get ready to try to lift this out without dropping it. Uh-oh. So I should cut like a lasagna, guys. But I have one hand, so as you can see, okay, it's on the thingy good there. Look at that shit. Can't tell me you don't want a bite of that. You can't tell me. Take a bite. Alright, that's it. Gonna pack that up for her. Put a little foil on it. She got her nice little corner piece. I'm gonna scrape all of that bottom part out, but as you can see, it's layered up real right. <laughs>